chapter 9 in the Bible and before we analyze the common collector I mean the follower before in the AC sweep model and we perform the parametric analysis of the model parameter now the common collector is a circuit in which there is a collector common ammeter is uh, we take the output from the ammeter and we give the input to the base terminal now this is typically suitable for the voltage buffer kind of application the base terminal serve as the input so uh, and uh, we know that uh, uh, resistance as input is proportional to the beta zero of re so the output of one input voltage gain is almost unity so this kind of application is ideal for for high input impedance the small voltage change on input terminal will be replicated at the output slightly transistor gain and the value of load to see the formula this circuit is useful because it has large input impedance so it will have not down not load down the previous circuit now this is the common collector buffer circuit we are taking the collect with base we are giving the input to the base and we are taking the collector common now this is a simulation settings we are doing for the Darlington buffer the, it, this one have to be BF from 100 2000 that's all we get the V input by IS2 V input 1 this is the input signal by I VS2 that's the gain and we are doing on the frequency scale now that's the frequency more precise more precisely now this is the circuit we gonna simulate it for vs by i v out by vs so the input upon is input gain output gain and the voltage output now this one is the buffer circuit this is the input goes to voltage divider circuit common base because the collector is grounded and this is the ammeter we give the parametric sweep and this one we use for generating a course of impedance input impedance so this will be the input impedance this one our frequency square it's very high input impedance so at 10 hertz it has very high impedance chapter 9 bipolar buffer Name the project have a bipolar buffer. Select M1 so select the location you want to see. Chapter 9 bipolar buffer. Select the location you want to see. create the project. Create a blank project. Now, you want to construct a circuit for a buffer. The buffer is like a far most an isolation circuit. We name as a neural tag as a parametric analysis model. We do only the parametric analysis because we want to create study the number of Z and curve with the various beta values. Place it around. The characteristics of the buffer is that it has a high input impedance and a very low output impedance. So the Additional properties are like a uh, voltage gain is really at the unity and a moderate power gain and a high degree of linearity. That's how we're gonna construct our buffer. Keep the source Q2 and T904 uh, transistor. So, register.
This way for being in this stuff. Rotate the registers. This circuit will take an output from the emitter rather than the collector. Maybe one output voltage may be equal to the input voltage. The circuit also knows as the emitter follower. So we will take the output from the emitter. So construct of the then the coupling capacitor, input capacitor and coupling output capacitor near the load. So we have placed all the components. Now we want to label the components and change the names of the components. Before that we are connecting. Connect all of the components. That's for the input circuitry. The in output will be almost equal like near to the input that's why it's called a buffer you can see that it's an emitter follower the emitter follows the base voltage whatever you give at the base the emitter follow it so we need to give a base voltage by some Voltage source 1 of 5 volt AC from 0. So this is a 0 DC 5 volt AC. Make a voltage LE as VE because we want to make a graph of output and input. This is input coupling capacitor. Make a like 0.1 microfarad. like base register so you want to make a base circuit and a biasing circuit so this will bias the transistor so make a 10k this is the emitter register which is at the output side we want emitter to follow the base so the particular value is 5k c2 is the coupling capacitor so let's see out it's carrying out the load make it at a one microfarad Our load is the load resistance like a 5k. Make a DC voltage 30 volt, which is biased in the collector. Output as a you want to make an output for so that we can see the output for some input. We can install it as we output. We can have them as VB because we also want to see the base voltage. Now connect to the AC and it. And make a parametric switch. Select the AC switch noise. Starting to 20. And her. We start the log at next scale. Use the parameter sweep to the PN and PN transistor. 
blend over that could be give me the parametric name as a b1 b needs to be variable starting one go to count and increment of one by this will be the value of two see offset I'll see the frequency part. We want input divided by Vs. So that's input by Vs. So the voltage input divided by IVs.